Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how we can install Team City in our own machine. So now, right here I am installing or I have downloaded the Team City latest installer. At the time of the recording of this video, just go to jitprints.com and you can get the latest version from Team City. So now, after running the installation, I will hit next. I will agree to the agreement. You can select where you want to place your Team City installation files. Okay, it's totally up to you. I will leave it by default at the C folder. I will hit next. Now notice that we have two options to we need to select or we need to install. Now, if this is a server machine, okay, uh, a machine that is only used to run the UI of the uh, Team City and uh, let's say uh, the administration of the team city only without needing to have it to do some build for us or create some uh, let's say artifacts or building out some projects okay uh, we can select only servers and we can also remove the build agent okay now if we want to allow this machine to install or let's say build out the projects for us uh, also on the same machine and output them uh, let's say for the destination folders or the destination uh, servers we need also to select that this is as a build agent okay you can have uh, let's say a one server and different build agent on different machines okay now let's hit next okay now we will have Team City being installed for us, and now after the installation is done, we will need to do some configuration. I will pause the recording and come back when this is done. So now we have the setup completed. Okay, now we need to configure our own Team City server and also the build agent. Now you will see right here that you need to select the port that will uh, like set the Team City to okay it's totally up to you to select any port you like okay i prefer to go with 4000 okay now why 4000 because like i don't want anybody to just directly hit my uh, let's say server name and be able to access team city okay so now we're gonna select the server port to 4000 okay we're gonna hit next and we're gonna need to give it some time now here notice that we have some configuration for us okay like uh, what is the url for this server okay you can also come over here hit edit okay uh, you can select also the name the as you notice like the own port okay uh, the own port is where the agents listens to the server commands okay uh, also the system directory the working directory and the temp directory okay and down here the explanation for each and every command right here okay now after you set or let's say configure uh, the different parts right here you need just come down here and hit save okay now as you notice that tell us that the agent properties has been saved okay and we're gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna need to select an account for the uh, for this installation. Uh, it's totally up to you to select whatever you find suitable, but make sure that it has sufficient uh, let's say permissions, so you can like access uh, with it the file systems, read, write, etc. You don't want. Uh, let's say uh, a user account that is ha having limited permissions so make sure you select that okay let's hit next uh, now we need to select uh, an account uh, I will type in my password right here and I will hit next uh, now also we need to select a service account for the agent okay same thing as the server I'm going to hit next, select my user account, and again enter my password. So now, after we have uh, selected the accounts, okay, now we need to start the both, uh, let's say, the both services. 
the build agent and the team city okay i will hit next and now the installation should like uh, start them up for me okay and uh, notice that uh, we have the team city has been completed successfully now we select this option so we open the team city web ui so we can continue configure configuring our own team city installation so let's hit finish and uh, let's give it some time to load up so we have the team city up and running okay and as you notice as a first start we need to select where our data directory will be okay it will restore service configuration uh, project settings etc you need to select like where you want to place these uh, or let's say uh, the data okay i will hit proceed so now we have the team city uh, up and running in our machine now we need to make sure that we configure it so we can have it up and running in our machine so now notice that the first thing we need to set up is the database connection okay where we want to connect uh, or let's say to which database and have that database connected now you have different options of course okay uh, if you want to just get to uh, let's say uh, start quickly okay you can use the internal i'm sorry the internal uh, database but as you see like uh, there is like uh, uh, a notification right here that this is only for evaluation purposes it's not only uh, let's say for production use okay now of course if you are working with .NET you might already have the MS SQL server up and running on your device okay but you need to have to do some steps okay uh, to enable the connection of Team City to this instant of the MS SQL server so to do that notice that we have uh, this uh, right here it says that revert to the documentation okay so it can show you like uh, how you can uh, download and work with the GDB C drive for the SQL server okay let's go to the instruction okay I'm sorry the instruction right here okay i will open the instruction uh, you need to go to this download center okay now uh, if you are uh, like uh, let's say as you notice right here if you want to do some different connection properties or uh, thing uh, like right here you can see the uh, advanced connection setting and edit them but for now we're not gonna do that we're gonna just download the needed gdbc drive okay after we download it we just go down here okay we hit download uh, as you can see we have different options i will select the uh, uh, the compressed version i will hit next and it should download very quickly it's very small size it's only two megabit my bytes okay and we have it right here downloaded for us so now after we have downloaded the needed driver for the sql database now if you go to the content of the uh, let's say the uh, compressed file if we go to the gre Eight, okay you will have this jar file okay or gre7 depending on the java runtime environment you have okay now uh, if you notice in the description okay you need to have it right here in this path the program data the jt prints uh, team city lib gdbc okay so you just need to go to that uh, directory okay in your machine and just take the jar file right here okay now after you have the jar file uh, let's say copy it to your machine just hit refresh to check that we have successfully taken the gdbc file okay uh, you might have like noticed that we still have an issue okay that it says that this driver is not found oh actually it says that the driver uh, is has been found okay if it, did, it said it did not uh, was not found just like uh, try the gr uh, gre7 version okay
okay so now uh, you can like leave this or optional okay the host the instance name uh, it's totally up to you to choose the uh, correct uh, thing now you can select like windows authentication uh, or sql authentication login and password okay now as you notice like the sql authentication or i'm sorry the windows authentication requiring some additional steps okay you can go back to the documentation and see it for yourself what is the options now we can use sql authentication uh, right here the instance name uh, you can leave it also for default but we're not gonna leave the database default we're gonna use uh, database i've already created called team city okay team city now we're gonna need to add the login let's call the login the admin and now we're gonna also insert right here the password for the admin so now after we enter the needed credentials for the database connection as you notice team city is working on creating the database for us on the sql server and it will populate and create the needed table for the team city on the selected instance of the uh, sql server okay so this process will also take some time okay we're gonna come back when it's done Alright, so now we have created the admin account successfully and uh, the the team city is now is up and running successfully and let's just give it some time so it can uh, reload So now we have the uh, admin account up and running successfully. Okay, we have created the server. So now. so now we have created the admin account successfully. Okay, and notice that we have this page that it's uh, like tell us to enter our own new uh, name. Okay, and also email okay i will do that i will add my email right here okay and uh, now you can update uh, oops uh, you can update your password if you want to do everything you need from this page okay and as you notice it has some decent or some nice uh, extension or add-on special to visual studio the windows try notification okay let's hit save so we save our email and the first name okay and this is like uh, after we do this we will head over to the projects right here and see so like a really quick overview of it okay so it's taking some time to load all right and uh, the change has been saved successfully if i head over to the projects okay now the project is the place who will be working most of the time okay and as you notice we don't have any project created yet so we will see uh, in the next lecture some overview about team city and uh, what we can do with the projects and how we can work with them thank you for watching this lecture